Okay, so this is the setup that we have. We have the ESC, which we waterproofed. Um, this is just a no-name ESC that came in a plane that I got from uh, Nitro Planes. This is the Arctech um, transmitter. Once again, all this came from a plane that I crashed. I just gutted it. This is the servo that we also waterproofed. So we have the waterproof DSC, the waterproof servo, and the waterproofed receiver. Right now we have a 3S hooked up to it. Here's the fan. Um, this is not the fan that came. This is a fan that came with a different kit that I got from Banana Hobbies. The fan is really terribly out of balance. So when I turn it on, it, you're going to hear it scraping the sides because it's not been balanced properly. So just to show you that it works. You can hear a little humming depending on the way I hold it. So it works. You can see it's spinning. Here it's spinning. Okay. Servo. The arm for the servo is too big. I didn't have the right uh, arm for it, but it's just squeezed on there just so you can show that it is moving. First thing we're going to stick in here is the water that we have. Just fill it up with tap water. First thing we're going to do is we're going to stick the servo in the water. You can see it's under there. You can see the bubbles. You can see it floating there. And we're going to move it. And you can see it moving underwater right now. It's trying to float on this side. Just keep pushing it down. But you can clearly see that it is moving. And I can hear it moving. You should be able to hear it moving as well. Alright, next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our ESC. Actually, we'll take our receiver first. And we're going to throw our receiver in there. So now you can see the red light is still on the receiver. So now we have our receiver. It looks like it's behind it, but it's in it. Trust me. So now we have our receiver and our servo. And as you can see, the servo is still working. Now, while our receiver is underwater and the ESC is hanging out, I'll turn on the fan a little bit so you can hear that it is working. That's the Oops, a little bit too much here. But you can hear it working. See it spinning. You see me moving the water. So now we have our receiver underwater, our servo underwater. We're now going to stick our ESC underwater. actually kind of hard to do. Okay, so now you see the ESC underwater, you see the receiver underwater, and you see the servo underwater. And you can see it in there, see it moving, see the bubbles and everything. And now, this is the hard part. Um, I'm just going to move this to it and see if I can hit the throttle a little bit while that is underwater. wires are kind of short here okay so you can see it underwater I'm just gonna bump the tire a little bit that grinding once again is the fan unbalanced see if it's, um, sounds better there there it goes so now you can see the fan moving like I said that is the fan terribly out of balance out of balance and I'm actually hitting the side of the cup a little bit trying to hold it. But you can see everything's underwater. Sorry about that. You can see everything's underwater. Everything's working properly. Here's the receiver. I'm trying not to get the motor under. Just because I don't feel like cleaning it out. But um, as you can see, everything is underwater. And everything is working as properly. Here you can see the server moving again. It's still moving. It's been under there the whole time. The receiver is still in there working. And everything works. And the ESC is kind of floating on me, but as you can see, the ESC is completely submerged also. And like I said, everything works. Just a little tap. Like I said, I need another hand for, to hold the camera. But you can see. You can 
and then depending on how I hold the fan. Depending on how I hold the fan, it makes a noise on me. Pull everything out. Now my bench is full of water, but no big deal. And as you can see, everything works. Here's the servo. Receiver still lit. There it is, waterproofing everything. Now just clean up the desk and empty out the water and we're done.